Wow, that's a lot of scrap metal over there. Holy cow. You guys might be able to see that. I don't really want to be driving back here. I don't even know if I'm allowed to be back here. Zoom in on that bad boy. Behind that dumpster is a whole pile of scrap. Bed frames and everything. Over here, we have a bunch of TVs, shrink wrapped. All shrink wrapped. A couple other TVs, and other assortments of stuff. Up here, we have all the toys, kids' toys that these Salvation Army. This one leaves it outside, I don't know. They're not that color faded, but they must get a lot of them. And the bikes. A bunch of bicycles. Doesn't look like they have any prices on them, so maybe I go inside and have to ask them, what's the deal with that? What's the prices on the bicycles? We are the first people here, though. We are at Salvation Army, thrifting today. Scranton, Pennsylvania, going to be a good day. So a bunch of shirts, bunch of stuff here. It's half off everything today, so even this week's stuff isn't, uh, well, is included. Alright, so I found this Butte Scranton Wilkesbury Yankees. Now I believe the Rail Riders. The Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. Minor League Jersey. Very, very hard to find. I found a couple of these. I think I sold the last one. It wasn't a Yankees jersey, it was um, Minor League Nationals back when they were at Expos. So I don't know what I sell this for, but this is a big score. I've talked about a lot is that the harder to find the, the minor league jerseys sometimes sell better than the major league jerseys and this is I would say almost 100% guaranteed game worn so this is a really really good find uh, I don't know anywhere between 50 to 150 uh, especially because the team is no longer the, the rail rider oh, well now they're the rail riders this might even be sought after a little bit more there's no patches on the sleeve but it does have the minor league patch on the back uh, some of these minor league jerseys also have an American flag patch. I think those are from about 2001 to 2007. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's when they had that. This is probably, I'd say, 2010, if they're still around the, um, the Yankees as opposed to the Rail Riders. Very, very good score. Okay, so this is kind of funny. I don't know if I was still doing YouTube videos when this first happened. I think I was, um, but I bought maybe 20 of these kind of shirts. They're all dog themed. I had German Shepherd, Black Lab, Golden Retriever, like a lot. Maybe 20, 25 shirts and sweatshirts. These were brand new. This isn't the same brand. Uh, the ones I got were uh, from some store that went out of business and they must have printed them. And it took me maybe eight months to sell half of them so I just whenever I see them I kind of laugh because I'm like I'm never doing that again it was just I looked at them every day because they, they, they all looked alike you know they're all very very similar I kept them in the same space um, so I will not be doing that again buying those kind of shirts so this is also the second thrift store that I'm at um, hopefully hoping to find some some good things here but it's very depleted as well you can see that the rows are very very I mean there's <laughs> you know I'll make it look nicer like they have more stuff but there's really nothing here same shirt different day all right so here's the glassware I know I haven't been picking up that much Pyrex recently I've kind of drifted away from that in a way uh, this was I think a red primary this is a 401 this is two dollars 
then you have two yellow bowls. So this one's three dollars. Then you have a 401 that's two dollars. So they're decent prices. If they're a dollar cheaper, I think I would buy them. Um, but like I said, I kind of drifted away from that. I don't come across a lot of solid yellows, which is actually kind of unique in a way. You come over here, and you have a Amish butter print. This is way gone. This is what you call dishwasher damaged. So that's like just gone. Um, and it looks like somebody probably sharpied it to try to bring it back. That one's four dollars. And that, if you guys are new to the channel, that would be a Cinderella bowl. It's usually a nesting set. That might be uh, English Pyrex. I don't even see that. England. Yeah, it's Pyrex. It's English Pyrex. It's $5. So this store has a bunch of Pyrex today, which is really unique. Uh, but I'm going to pass on a bunch of it. You have some mixing bowls for your Sunbeam. Those aren't really that collectible, but they're around. It's kind of a glassware section. Still pretty pricey considering how damaged these are. Like this is, that's gone. That's not, you know, I don't know. I think something like that at a thrift store should be like 50 cents. I probably wouldn't even buy it if it was a dollar. Uh, and that's, you know, for a collector in, in terms. Lots and lots of mugs. I don't know if that is, oh, 49 cents. I thought, <laughs> didn't know that was like $49. Never know with these thrift stores, never know. Lots and lots of baskets. One thing I always come across at auctions as well is a box of baskets, and they just look exactly like this. So you'll get something like this. If you guys might remember a while back, we had a bunch that I found in the recycling thing that I didn't take. They weren't like that. Maybe I can find one that looked like it, or maybe not. No, I guess not. Unless this is kind of like it. That's nah, not even really like it. I grabbed a bunch of clothes. They aren't putting out new stuff, so it was kind of very, very slim pickings. I only think I found like four or five items here. Which is kind of unfortunate. I was very surprised they had all that glassware. All that Pyrex, very, very surprised with that. Check out the sporting goods. This is a, this is a beaut, wow. Let's bring back some memories. Cooper. Kind of reminds me of the Jofa style. You guys are hockey fans, might remember Jofa. I think Yarm or Yager always wore Jofa. If that's the right name of it. Baseball gloves. Funny thing, good. Nope. It's not the best of brands. Wilson's not too bad. Oh, what are these? What are these? What are these? These look awesome. These might be worth something. You're missing two wheels. Nike rollerblades. They're 10 bucks. They're pretty shot, pretty beat up, but maybe they'll be worth something. There's gotta be a number on here somewhere, maybe in here. Uh, maybe not. Nike ice skates that look like this. I think these are called Air Zoom, if I'm right. I know they make hockey skates, if you guys want to check them out. I think they're in white. I think they're what Wayne Gretzky wore. They're like the Gretzky model. They're worth some serious money. Used, too. So I don't know about the roller blades, but for 10 bucks, this might be a steal, even though we're missing a couple wheels. And we got some rust. You know it says aluminum. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna pass on these. Uh, I think they're about Probably, if, th if this wasn't broken, this zoom, this focus is not the best. Maybe, no, no. Got like a happy medium here, but anyway. Uh, if it had all the the rollers, and it also had not that huge chip missing on the back, I would grab it. Uh, I think they're probably worth about 40 to 50 bucks used in similar condition with the rollers and without the crack. 
uh, with the roller in the crack, you know, you might get 20 bucks. Uh, they are, I think, Nike Air Zooms. But I'll leave that for someone else. See, the other one's not missing any wheels, but this one is. So that's, you, you need all of them. You, know, you can buy replacements, but you need all of them. So I might pass on those. If they were ice skates and they're rusty or anything, I would grab them, but roller blades, I think I might pass. This looks like it was very expensive at one time. All right, so here we are with the recap. We'll be picked up today. Uh, one thing that was a little bit different that I thought was kind of weird was some stores actually had 50% off all the merchandise and some people had, or some stores had 50% off just clothing. And regardless of what it was, it was always all the tags. So if it was just clothing, it was all the tags, even the stuff they put out that day or the day before. So it was different in a way. So it was a big, um, big sale day. That is for sure in the Salvation Army. Uh, sweatshirts seem to be something that a lot of vintage or people, a lot of people seem to hold on to. You know, you, you might wear two or three sweatshirts in the winter. You put it in your closet and that's that. A t-shirt, you know, you might wear this 10 or 15 times a year. It gets too small and then you throw it out. So for some reason, sweatshirts always seem to hold their value because everyone has kept them over the years. That's kind of the reason why I like them so much is they still have that nostalgia factor. So we have a Drew University, we have the San Diego sweatshirt and a pinstripe, Steelers, Reebok, LSU, and I really don't like uh, to pick up hoodies, but hoodies for me have sold pretty well recently. If you guys are interested in getting clothes, uh, I usually stay away from the hoodies. I like the vintage look of the sweatshirts, of the crew neck sweatshirt, because that's kind of the, the look that I go for and what I sell. But hoodies have been selling for me pretty well. We have Montclair State, another one of these Nike sweatshirts, a Columbus Blue Jackets. For any hockey fans, we have a Red Wings, Tasmanian Devil, Warner Brothers. And lastly... We came across another one of these Yankee sweatshirts. This one says World Series Champions 1999. Uh, the, all of you guys might remember a while back I picked up maybe 20 or 30 Yankees National League or American League Champion sweatshirts and t-shirts and World Series. I actually sold off every single piece of inventory. I've had that sweatshirt before and I have sold it. For t-shirts we have a Pink Floyd, Phillies Jim Tomey, Cornell, Red, Scott, Red Sox we have a Manny Ramirez. And this is a Carl Yeshnemski. Probably butchered that. We have Syracuse, Mercer University, this WWE t-shirt. A Tom Brady jersey, which I don't know how many more years he has, but these jerseys always sell. Binghamton University, a Guinness t-shirt. UNC, Los Angeles Lakers, who I think are going to be a really, really hot seller this year because they picked up uh, LeBron James. I'm going to try to hoard all my Lakers stuff and pick it up whenever I can. If it's at a flea market, a thrift store, even I have to pay up because I think it's going to be a very, very good team this year. Wisconsin, a Chevy t-shirt, this awesome vintage Rusty Wallace and Miller light design. Nashville Predators and a Dare t-shirt, which seem to be harder and harder to come across, as well as an Alabama t-shirt. Arguably, probably the most known college football team in the country. Alabama stuff is a great school to sell, as well as if you have any vintage Alabama football stuff. Picked up two hats. One thing about hats is some stores actually don't consider this to be clothing. They consider it to be accessories. And for some reason, they are not on sale, but today they were. So this is $1.50 for a NASCAR hat made by Logo Athletic. And then we have a vintage Giants hat. This one was 50 cents, I think. 50 cents. Also picked up one Pyrex bowl. Now, some people might be like, well, that's a white bowl. How do you know it's Pyrex? It's the same exact shape of it. And they came out with an Opel set. Pyrex Opel, if a true Opel Pyrex piece has to be unmarked on the bottom. As you can see, there's no Pyrex stamp. There is a mold number. That's what that small number is. But other than that, there is no Pyrex stamp. That means this was part of their Opel white set. Um, you're going to have to just kind of know what Pyrex bowls look like as in terms of Federal or Fire King, Glass Bake, Pyrex, Anchor Hawking, 
Hazel Atlas, you're going to have to note a difference in terms of what they look like if they have no marking on the bottom to determine if this is a Pyrex bowl or if it's not, if it doesn't say anything on the bottom. If it has like a textured design on the bottom, it's glass bake. Just a heads up that glass bake makes a lot of unmarked stuff and it's just like a textured design. Lastly, my favorite piece, Yankees Scranton Wilkesbury jersey. Um, this is probably my favorite piece and I'm probably going to ask anywhere between 50 to 100 for it. Very, very nice game worn jersey. I think it was worn for, I think the, I'm going to have to say like 2008 to 2010. That's my estimate of when it was worn or used, but that will be for another day and another day to research. Very, very fun. Lots and lots of cool pickups. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed thrifting and you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.